Uh, next kata, kata Seon Chin. Again, I just want to break this down for you so you can, uh, I might go with some pitfalls, I might not, depends on if I waffle. Um, but just some, and again, there's some changes that I made for Tadashi. Um, when you think Seon Chin, uh, Seon Chin, you know, I've heard it described to me as, uh, as the calm before the storm. So you've got to think when you're moving through this, that of a sea and then a storm hits and the storm hits in the fast points. The sea is the calm, um, the sea is the, uh, you know, the slow flowing movements and then the fast movements are just the lightning striking. Um, again, it's a, it's a Goju style kata. So it derives from Gojiru. Um, and some of it is repetitive, some of it does repeat itself. So those parts I might only do on one side, probably don't need to show you the whole thing, um, but just some things that you can work with and some things that you can play around with and, and, uh, and improve on. <clears throat> so starting off, we move our right leg on a 45 degree angle and the hands just come to about shoulder level not so much uh, um, an apex there but slightly parted from this position roll the wrists let the elbows come together and when you do this don't let the elbows drop just roll the wrists and then the elbows will naturally come together come to eye height not too high Index finger, middle finger, forefinger, little finger, thumb to make a fist, pulling down. So at this position you are at solar plex level. And then from here, around, out to the side, just above the legs. And then from here all we do is curl around with the right hand, so short khaki UK, left hand straight to solar plex. Turn and grab, push through. Now, when you push through, push through on the same angle as the body. Not forwards, same angle as the body. There doesn't need to be this fast execution. It can be that. Um, again, different styles got different ways of doing it. But, um, you know, and that, that could be a bunkai for this. But just make sure that, um, you know, that you're keeping it flowing. Um, when you start out, I'll do it from the side so you can see. When you start out with this, there's no need to pull the arms all the way out to here. If anything, follow the body line and follow the leg line. So when you start, when you're starting out from this position, down, and then just follow the inside of the thighs. Again, uh, get on the right over the over the legs as you as you would do. Get on the right, thumb knuckle, centre line of the leg. So we're here. Now the transition, stepping through. What a lot of people do, um, and this is where the confusion or the, uh, the maturity lies, is the body, I'll do it this way so you can see, the body comes off on, off line and then goes back on line. That's not the way I would teach it and that's not the way I would try to perform it. What I would do to break that down would be your weight is centered. You're in sumo stance, you're in shikadachi. So your weight is in the middle. What I would teach would be to push forwards on that front leg and then siriachi through. The foot doesn't, I'll do it this way so you can see again. The foot doesn't step, the foot still comes in, but the body doesn't veer off line, hopefully. So I'll do this from the side so you can see. Front knee pushes forwards, then Siriachi through. Try to snap those legs, as in what I mean when I say snap, is it's not, it's not this. Just let it glide. And then again, as you're stepping through, as you're stepping through, hands and feet together, hands come up, around, repeat, move, move number one just on the opposite side. And you do that three times. So you do it here, and then here, to here. So you've got one, two, three. 
The move after that, some styles will give you a heel strike. No need into dashing, just step back into a Heiko Sanchindach parallel pigeon toe. Well, it's not really pigeon toe, but the term is Heiko Sanchin. So from here, in and out. Parallel stance, one foot behind the other. Strike to the palm. With this, don't strike too high. Your hands already in position. Just hit it. Elbows in, not outwards. So we're in this position now. Now the way I describe this is when you're moving forward, you need to cover ground. So what I would teach would be fold as you step. Now when you step, step long. So from here, fold and step. As that back foot shuffles in, then execute the, uh, the reinforced stomach punch. Could be a stomach punch, it could be a push, it could be other things as well. So from here, cover the ground, strike. Left hand stays where it is, right leg steps back, Siriachi, high course on chin, right hand back to the hip. And again, as the foot moves, hands move. From this position, from your high course on chin, slight angle with the hips, so not square, not 45. If you're gonna get pedantic, about 22.5 degrees. Can't see the big many here. Many people out there with a the protractor. So from here, and then all you do from this position is uh, hijiate. Now the hijiate, the rising elbow strike, doesn't need to be in the centre line or too high. Just have it so the elbow finishes same out of the shoulder. And then this is just reinforcing the hijiate. So it comes from here and up. Now, again, foot and hand together. So we drop the right hand as we bring in the right foot. Notice how the hips haven't really gone anywhere. So we're not pulling the hip off to bring it back on again. Again, that's a pitfall people have. They will pull the hip off to prepare and then bring it all the way back around again to, to execute the block. There's no need. So from this position, square on the preparation, then you can execute into Sanchindach. I like to reinforce with the tensho, reinforce with the, the palm heel on this, as opposed to the, the fingertips. So I like to push the palm heel straight to the tetsuri and push upwards. So in this position again, one. Now when you prepare this, make sure the palm is downwards. It's an uchuke block, so it has to prepare like an uchuke, and then you hook around like an uchuke. So from here, one, two. The hands, I'll do this from the front as well as the side. The hands stay where they are until the last second. Step. As long as you can for uh, Shikadech, execute the back heel, strike Tetsu with the left hand. When you do this, um, I'll do it this way so you can see. What people tend to do is prepare this left hand. There's no need. So when you step in from here, step, turn and strike. Just think about splitting the elbows, pulling the elbows back for that tetsui. Here, stroke. Stepping back in a straight line, not circle. So you don't step back in sumo stance, this way. Step back in a straight line. To here. As you step back, right hand comes up, passes the face, cuts across the body. So slow that would be from tetsui position. From a tetsui position comes up and around. Not this. Just push the fist through, let it pass the face and around for you get amber right. Now, same as before, hips are facing in this direction. There's no need to hips in, hips off. From this position, prepare, execute. You don't have to wind up to execute that. 
This repeats itself. One, two. So it's just the same, but on the opposite side. For the next technique, we're going to go back in a straight line. From here, breaking this down, right hand is behind the left. The right hand is palm facing you, the left hand is palm away from you. And you're, not, you're only crossing at the palms. You're not crossing at the wrist, you're not crossing at the fingers, you're crossing at the palms. So it's here. And if you're going to get really pedantic and you want to just test this for yourself, we should be able to just see the right eye with this. And it's going to repeat on the opposite side. So from here, as we step back, up and around. And then we do it again, up and around. Now the path of the hand that's dropping needs to right across the body. So don't get into the, don't get into the mode of just dropping this down. Let this sweep. Striking Tesho to the groin, blocking, you know, again, basic bunkai, blocking a punch, striking Tesho to the groin. So we're now here. Tadashi, what I've done is, right leg sweeps around. As that happens, the right arm remains that height. So it's not gonna drop. Comes around, strike with the elbow. So from here, strike. Haiko San Chin, right arm is nice and high. You're then gonna sweep, shuffle, back fist. The back fist finishes with the back foot. So we get to here, one, step, two, together. Rather than just flicking your leg back for the sweep, give your shin a little bit of a slap. So from here, on, on. Next technique, we're gonna go from a 45 degree angle. Stepping across, and again, there's a pitfall with this as well. Stepping across, right arm is already high, left arm is already in position. All you gotta do is switch. So from this position here, step, <coughs> switch. So your left, arm, your left arm then goes high, right arm drops for Chugi Yuke. The pitfall, stepping too far. So when you step, step here, you end up in a poor Heikadach, or just about Heikadach. Try and do it this angle so you can see. So if we step too far, and I turn, my feet aren't in San Chindach. So I want to step, and this again goes to both sides, step just so that the heels are in line. One foot's going to continue turning, left foot stops, right foot continues. In San Chin, Basic rule, wherever you want your hips to face, point your back foot in that direction. Tube UK. Grab with the left, step forward as you bring the right hand into the hip, execute the hip and age zuke, upper cut. You're then going to do back fist, tetsui, get on barai. So, from, just so you can see from the side, Chuki UK, grabbing, step, uppercut. Notice that the foot and the hands, together. Back fist, around for the Tetsui, and then you get Amber Rise the same as you did to the corner. Um, when you land here, you should finish like Cypher. This should be like the Cypher Kata. And then back fist, take two, get amber right. So we've executed our get amber right now. Again, slight change I made for Tadashi. Right leg, left arm straight. Cat stance, slight drop into cat stance, bring the right arm around, left arm up. And from here, stepping back, Mawashi MP. With this, 
um, you can turn the hips off slightly. So you don't have to be so sort of square. Slight angle with the hips because of the nature of not only the kata, but also you know what the potential bunkai is for this. So from here, up, drop. Thread, drop. Slight angle. Now, as we did before, we were going from high ko san chin to heels in line. The heels are already in line. Slight step. Don't step the same as you did the first time. It's just a slight movement. This hand is already high, so it's going to drop. This hand is already low, so it's going to come up. From here, drop. When I prepare that, do it this way so you can see. When I prepare that, it comes around this way and then down. It's almost like a sotuke geramboroi. Then the right hand comes up. Again, grab, uppercut, back fist, tetsui, geramboroi. Um, I'll go into that in a second. So we've done the geramboroi. Same as before, left foot, right hand, mawashi, mawashi. Slight up and down movement with those uh, cat stands. Up, drop. Up slightly, drop. Don't come, all, don't come all the way up and drop all the way down. So we don't want to see this. Up, drop. Slight up, slight drop. And that slight drop just, just helps you get that into the, into the, uh, the stance itself. So execute this, execute with this. Left hand, palm faces away from you until it gets to the ear. And then it rolls forwards at the same time as clipping your right elbow with this Teisho block if you like. You're going to roll on back fist. As that happens, you're going to shuffle forwards. So from here, slowly, one, two, three, and back fist. Because it's a back fist, the hand is just, sorry, the arm is rested on the hand, palm. Doesn't really matter to me where it is. So it could be there, so it could be here, it could be here. To me, that's an irrelevant part to me. So come around, one, Roll two. Now, as you just to finish the carter off, as you go from your reverse cat stance at this point, reverse cat stance is just cat stance in reverse. Um, you go to transfer the body weight. Now, what a lot of places will teach you is from this position, switch and step back. That needs to be put together again. It can't just be switch and step back. It can't be as jagged as that. It has to be a flowing movement. So this switch and step back is actually just your step back and drag. So just have that in mind. Um, again, some places will ask you to fire the hands out on the switch and then drop down but the switch remains the same. Whatever you do with the hands, the switch remains the same. So I'll do this dashi version. As we switch, step back, hands drop, around in a big arc, meet in the middle, palms upwards, from here, back of the hands together as you pull down. Go as far as you can, and then roll. You wanna finish chin height? <laughs> Don't do this. If anything, lower, lower the hand. You want to finish roughly chin height, just on the tip of the middle fingers. So just to keep that, that, uh, that 90 degree angle there. From the side, again, the transition remains the same. Step around, up like you're opening the book to the sky, down with the back of the hands, and roll. Um, And then you obviously finish. So you go from here.
Um, with uh, with Sam Chin, just think angles. Um, you know, the first, first, second side for Basai, pretty linear, pretty sort of straightforward and sideways. Whereas Sam Chin, you're going off to the corners. You're going off to all four corners in this kata. Um, you know what it what it sort of teaches you is to get off that line of attack or um, avoid to start off with is how I would teach it. Um, but it's it, it's all angled, so I just think are my angles correct? And if they're not correct, then take some time to correct them. You know, so when you are in your uh, shikadach, your feet need to be perpendicular to each other, and there should be equal distance. So if we were to draw, if we were to have a line back here somewhere, then the feet would meet on that line, and that's how you would get it right. So you need equal distance between the feet. If you were to just move them back, they would be on the same, they would finish on the same spot. If not, if your angle's off, then the feet don't meet. The feet don't meet. Um, so yeah, it's all angled. It's not as linear as the first four kata. It's, uh, it's more angled. Um, I think that's it for Sin and Chin. Again, I've gone through some pitfalls. I've gone through some ways to, uh, you know, how, it, how I'd like to see it done correctly. Um, again, subscribe, wherever the subscribe button is on your screen. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, don't really care which. Write a little comment, again, don't really care what it says. It could say, James, you're rubbish, or it could say, James, you're full, of, you're full of it, or it could say, you know, that that was really helpful, or it could say, that didn't help me at all. It doesn't matter, you know. Um, feedback is feedback. It's, uh, you know, it lets us know where we're going right, it lets us know where we're going wrong. Where we're going wrong, we can also improve on that as well. So, you know, if I need to improve on something, you tell me. Um, hopefully, there isn't too, hopefully there isn't too much of that. I'm not opening the floodgates for, for people to... Uh, to you know, for the hit, the hairs to hair. But um, but just yeah, you know, leave a comment. Um, if it's helpful, I'll keep doing these. If it's not, then I'll keep doing things. Um, so either way, I'm going to keep doing them. But just uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the ones for MP Sansaru, Sepai, uh, Krum for Kankadai. Um, because right now that's all I've developed the syllabus up to. Um, uh, the, I'm thinking of changes for other cards as well, but. You know, I've made a few changes to MPs, uh, to Sansu, to Sapai, Kronfa, and also I've made a few changes to Kankanai as well. Um, just on changes, um, you know, the my, my sort of thought is is that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, who, who knows what's right. You know, for me, Japanese school to Japanese school, the, it differs, you know, it, it can all differ. Um, so, you know, yes, I'm a Westerner. Yes, I've only got... Um, you know, I've been sort of training and teaching for the last 18, 19 years or so. Um, but I just feel that there's, you know, why, why can't I make changes? Um, you know, leave a comment on that if you wish. You know, it's, you know there's nobody sort of saying that you can't. And, uh, you know, when it comes to tradition, you know, to me the tradition isn't how a style is done. Tradition to me is etiquette. Bowing before you walk in the dojo, bowing when you leave, addressing the instructor properly, responses, training hard, that to me is tradition. Um, so, so yeah, just uh, leave a comment, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, speak to you soon.